Well, it's NAB 2017, and normally we do our kit overview on the show floor. However, this year we forgot. So we're in my hotel room, but at least that gives you the beautiful view of the hills and mountains in the back of Las Vegas. But onto the important stuff, the kit that we used this year to film the interviews at NAB. Uh, I'll start from the bottom, as they say. We are, again, using uh, a Miller tripod. Uh, we like these. Tripod is always important while carrying stuff around NAB. This thing rattles all over the place because we have to go over concrete floors and wooden floors, you name it. So we have a, a Miller dolly at the bottom here. We have a good set of Miller legs, carbon fiber legs. And on top of that, we've got the Miller, Miller sorry, Arrow X5 head. Um, very robust system and can stand the... Uh, the bashing that, shall we say, that it gets while we uh, move it around the whole of the show floor here at NAB. Camera of choice this year, well, it's the Sony NX5. Um, HD camera It's all we need. It's been a fantastic workhorse over the past four or five days. Uh, the lens is sharp, uh, ND's been needed when we go outside, and uh, records internally onto twin SD cards. Powered, well, we're using the IDX Endura Duo batteries, as well as the IDX uh, NPF equivalent battery. So this IDX battery is looking after the camera and just seems to go on forever as far as the camera is concerned. The um, recorder and the data light are using the Endura Duo batteries. I don't know whether you've seen these. This is the V-Lock. Uh, these batteries have 2D taps in them. So you don't have to worry about whether your rig has a DTAP support. You've got them straight on the battery, as well as a handy little USB for charging your phone on the side there. Um, we charge these. Obviously, we are charging these overnight. So one thing you don't want when you're in your bedroom sleeping at night is your charger whirring away, charging your batteries. So we have the uh, IDX Endura charger, but this is a fanless charger. Sequential charger. You put two batteries on it. Uh, charges one, then charges the other. The beauty of it, though, there is no noise from it whatsoever. So you can charge your batteries overnight and still get a good night's sleep. Moving on, we have, again, the Dado Leadzilla light. We have that on top. Superb light. Uh, stands up to everything we throw at it. It's bright. You can adjust the spot uh, from a spot first to a flood. Uh, it's color balanceable between, uh, I think it's 2800 to 6400 or 5600, sorry, Kelvin. And uh, obviously dimmable as well. We've got one shining on me over here, hopefully lighting me. Um, right, at the back end, well, we're recording this year on the Shogun Inferno. Uh, this is an amazing piece of kit, and it is very, very handy, especially when shooting outside. We have, a, I think it's something like a near 1500 nit screen. We can shoot outside with this, the sun can be shining on, and we can still see this screen without a problem. Of course, uh, it gives us lots of controls uh, and monitoring functions, so we have Waveform monitors, which you can change the size of. We have RGB parades. We have a vector scope. We have peaking, which is very handy for focusing, of course. Uh, zebras, again, helping your exposure, as well as false color. Uh, it, can do, it can do so many things. It's, it's a, basically a, a one-box solution. Um, if you're running S-Log2 or S-Log3 on a camera like a FS7, FS5, of course, you can um, use the Atom HDR options on here where you can view, uh, without having to load a LUT, what your, uh, uh, your image should look like on screen. Of course, you can load LUTs. Loads of stuff you can do with this camera. We're powering off that uh, IDX battery. Uh, runs a long time on that and records straight to SSD, so it makes it for fast uh, editing for us at the end of the day. So that is our rig. One final thing, as you can see, I'm using this mic. That's because throughout the show, we've been using the uh, AVX series from Sennheiser. We've talked about it many times before. That's the receiver, tiny little receiver, plug straight in, and this is the handheld mark. Uh, been a fantastic rig, worked faultlessly throughout the last four days. Been very impressed with how it all functions together. Uh, it's been getting lots of attention and uh, we're very pleased with it. So hopefully that will uh, give you an idea of what we used this year for our interviews at NAB 2017.